Hey guys, Bill here. You know, when it comes to the river monsters of North America, there's a lot of scary creatures out there. But check out this one. It's called an alligator garfish. It's considered the largest freshwater fish in North America. And this carnivorous beast has a set of teeth on it that looks something like it came out of a horror movie. <laughs> to get a real and up close look at one of these monsters, I've come to the southern United States and hooked up with Kirk Kirkland the best guide there is to catch alligator garfish. So, where exactly are we? We're on the Trinity River in Texas, around Crockett, Texas. Okay, and this is where they have the alligator garfish, right? Yes, sir, this is the largest base of alligator garfish in the world, anywhere. The alligator gar have been out around over 100 million years. They, uh, they're an air breather, plus they have gills also. So they're able to come up and gulp air during low oxygen waters. Traveling with Kirk is avid fisherman Lawrence King, who traveled a long way just so he could catch a gar. I asked him how they go about catching these gar fish. Well, they roll, they come up and take a breath. So once we see them do it, we'll stop, put some rods out, and try and catch one. That's the theory. <laughs> An alligator gar is definitely on the line, but not on the hook. Lawrence and Kirk have to be careful not to lose the fish, so they just follow it for a while. You see, the problem for the fisherman is when the alligator gar goes after its prey, it usually just kind of impales it on its teeth, kind of like, like that. And then it swims around with it like that until it finds a nice, comfortable place to have a meal. Now, the problem for the fisherman is, imagine your, your hook is over here, and the alligator gar bites the bait like this. And if you pull too hard, the gar could drop the bait and you lose the fish. Now, what this means for Lawrence is that his trophy is not on that hook yet. So if the alligator gar swims under tree branches, then he'll have to make his rod do the same thing. So, The fish swims toward a clump of trees, so Kirk decides it's time to go for the catch. Do you want to tighten that, sir? Yep. Yep. At last, the fish is on the hook. I don't think it's that small. Have your teeth, your finger in there? Nope. So this is what I flew 6,000 miles for, 92 pound gar. You can see why they call it an alligator gar, because of that right there. Ooh. You might see her nose is red because she's been spawning. Right, so that's not blood, eh? No, no. Ooh, you can see the teeth, she's opening yeah. her mouth a little bit there. If you look right here on the nose, you see two sets of holes here. There's also two holes in the front of the nose. Two of those holes are for smelling and two of those holes are for breathing. Yeah. And that gill goes, I mean that lung goes all the way down the middle of the back. It's just a red sack like about this big around. It pulls oxygen out of the, out of the air. Um, they're about like the arapaima. If you look at the head, yeah. just like a rock. So it defends itself with these scales, with these teeth. Well, in, the, in, the, in years past, in about 10,000 years ago, there was a prehistoric shark here in the river. And um, they think, theorize, that they developed these scales to protect them from those sharks. They don't have any other predator other than man. How long do they live? We know they'll live to be at least 90 years old. 90 years. Here we go.
There you go, Bill. Now you've seen the real American River Monsters. Texas Alligator Guard. Wow, how about those teeth, huh? Ah, man, vampires would die. Well, it's kind of hard for a vampire to die, but you could see how a vampire would really lust after something like that. Anyway, I want to thank Lawrence and Captain Kirk for letting me tag along on their amazing adventure. And hey, if you ever decide you want to take a fishing trip like that, just get a hold of Captain Kirk and he will hook you up. I'm going to leave his contact information in the description box below. And that, my friends, brings me to the question of the day. Today we're going to have kind of a multiple choice question, so it's going to make it really easy on you. All you got to do is pick the right one. All right, so you ready? Here we go. When an alligator garfish spawns, in other words, kind of lays her eggs, how many eggs does she put out? Is it A, 15, B, 150, or C, 150,000? Let me know what your answer is in the comments section below, then email me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll send you the official answer. All right? Ready and go!